All right, boys and girls. So I just finished up Jen Lyon's new book. It comes out in July. Uh, the book is called The Sky on Fire. Well, we got going on. Uh, Anna Rod spent the first half of her life wanting to be a dragon rider. Things happened. That didn't quite pan out in uh, the worst possible way. And she has so far spent the second half of her life hiding from dragons and letting everybody that she knows think she's dead. Yeah, but, you know, if, if that was the entirety of it, this would be very boring. So, while trying to fight off the local warlord's minions, uh, she gets helped slash kidnapped by a roving uh, band of adventurers, as one does. And uh, life is interesting. Um, yeah, she's got uh, a dragon that wants her dead still. She's got a dragon that just wants to use her. She's got a dragon that wants to protect her. And she's got a dragon that needs her to save them. All while not knowing who to trust, everybody in this book has an ulterior motive, dubious intent. It's a, I mean, you, you can't tell who you're going to trust. You can't tell who's going to turn on you. And you certainly don't know everything that's going on because all of them have secrets. Everybody's holding something close to the vest. Can't tell you too much more about it without giving away any spoilers. I will tell you this. This is a fast paced read. If I had any more time available to me right now, this book would probably have taken me two days tops. I probably could have done it in one, but I'll say two days tops. It's, I read the art, so I know the official counts like four, 48 or something like that. Apologize, I don't have that memorized. Uh, I think the art was just a little bit shorter than that. Still over 400 pages, but you know, not, not to the five, 600 uh, where it starts to get chunky. So, quick and easy read. Great story. Like I said, if you like pacing, this one's for you. We don't get bogged down in uh, a lot of details. We don't spend all day telling you exactly what color the grass is, which you know, some of you like those details. Most of you do not. So I'm going to say check this one out. Like It is a five-star read. Uh, I want to thank McMillan again, uh, not only for sending me the arc, which you, you see over my shoulder, uh, but also sending me accidentally a second arc because arcs being arcs, uh, yeah, I got to page like 376 on that first arc and realized I could only read about the middle third of the book. The two sides didn't get printed. Um, and then I ran over to find the one that they had accidentally sent me, which luckily I had not given away to anybody yet. And uh, yeah, that page was good. So because <laughs> that's an awful far way to get into a book and then all of a sudden have no idea what that page said. But again, can't complain. It was an arc. You know, I, I didn't have to pay for it. So, but thank you again, McMillan, for sending that out. Absolutely love that book. Don't give out a lot of five stars. This is one of them. Check it out. Yeah, I know, um, and I may have mentioned this before, Jen Lyons likened this to Dragon Riders of Pern, which I, I see a little bit of that in it. Um, if you've read anything a little more recent, uh, for instance, The Olympian Affair by Jim Butcher, a lot of it actually... Reminded me a little bit more of that. Um, but, you know, Jen was talking to, to me about this book two years ago, so uh, that was well before Olympian Affair came out. So she would have had no idea it was like the Olympian Affair. <laughs> so anyhow, check it out. You won't regret it. Catch you guys later.